You want to confront me considering all that happened? Well, let's hear it. Let's hear you scream and shout. Come on, use those four-letter words. Give the neighbors something to talk about. Come on. Why? Why? What do you mean, why? It's exactly what I mean, Kane. Why would I come over here and tell you what already happened? Why would I call you those four-letter words if you already know that's what you are? Well then, why would you come over here and make yourself look like a moron? Throw away the last shreds of dignity you have. Oh, look at me. Oh, look at everything I don't have. Look at that pile of nothing. What is that pile of nothing? Oh yeah, it's my life. She wasn't nothing. She was everything. She was my wife. So what? If that's not good enough, nothing else will be. Well, obviously, something was good enough, or else she wouldn't have come a-knocking. Take a look around. I have more than you ever will. I have money, education, security. I'm a branch manager. And you clean toilets. Oh, the fact that you had everything handed to you makes you better than me? As a matter of fact, it does. Oh, yeah? And how does it? I don't have to sit here and justify myself to you. Oh, you don't have to justify yourself with anybody, do you? You're just mommy and daddy's special boy. Never have to worry about anything. Never do anything for yourself. Mommy and daddy will always come and fix everything. And tell you how special you are. Oh, and you think you're so special. You think that just because you grew up in a bad neighborhood that you can walk around with a chip on your shoulder and act like the world owes you something. Well, it doesn't, and neither do I. And just because you come from underprivileged upbringings does not mean I have to tiptoe through the tulips with you. Nancy chose me and not you, so get over it. Oh, and before you go on one of your I'm poor boo-hoo tangents, let me remind you that we only grew up six blocks away. You know those six blocks meant the difference between heaven and hell. And you think I'll just give Nancy back to you because you got beat up after school and I didn't? Hmm? Is that what this is about? You said I wanted her back. That's why you're here, isn't it? No. Not at all. Well then why are you here? To make a point. Prove. I've already won. Don't you get it? What you fail to realize is that you can't win unless you're honest. What are you, a preacher now? You gonna get all spiritual on me? No, I'm not all, I'm not all spiritual. I just see things that Nancy doesn't. And what's that? Your life is a lie. You're afraid. You see, it's easy to get someone to fall for you. You lie. Oh yeah? And what do I lie about? Everything. Me. Lies. To how much you owe, to what your intentions are, to how faithful you are, how many marriages you had, and whether or not you pay your taxes. I don't think mommy and daddy can help you out of that. And what are you gonna do about it? You gonna hit me? You gonna scold me? Are you gonna tell on me? No, I don't have to. Realize we'll catch up to you. And when it does, I'll be there. Then everyone will see I'm a better man.